Okay, so this is a problem that happens from time to time. You're typing something, maybe an email, and you're trying to do a question mark, and you get this E. Um, this is a, a French E with a, like an accented goo on it, and the reason that this happens is because your keyboard has now changed from just being like a U.S. English keyboard to a French version. Um, so it's going to give you different um, letters for different keys that you press. Um, the shortcut might be different on your computer. For most computers, it's going to be the control and the shift button on your keyboard at the same time. That should change it. Um, for So I'll do that now. Um, and now if I do a question mark, it'll give me the regular one. For some keyboards, though, they'll have multiple ones. So if you do it the first time and you still get the E, do it a, a third time. My, my keyboard, for example, does have the three. It has the Canadian, French, and multilingual um, standard keyboard. Um, so that should fix your problem, no problem. The um, other way that you can fix this is by going to your control panel. Go start menu, control panel. Um, go over to hardware. Go to devices and printers. Um, and then find your keyboard. So this is my keyboard here. I'm going to right click on this and go to region and language. From here I'm going to click change keyboards. Uh, this gives all the keyboards that are currently on my keyboard. So I have the US, Canadian, French, and the other Canadian one. So I can remove that one. All I need is the US one and that's good. So I'll hit apply, hit OK, go back to my document. And now if I try and do a question mark, it works. If I try and do that shortcut to change it, it doesn't actually work. So there's nothing down there. And I don't get the keyboard down here, so it doesn't offer me those, uh, those shortcuts. And that's it. You're good to go.